what is up um guys how are you doing so we're back with another video i hope you're not doing too bad um i'm doing all right if you wanted to know um so yeah basically we're going to be playing gran turismo 7 the new game so yeah stay tuned for that buckle your seat belts that's the worst thing you could have ever said um but yeah Enjoy. Go on. No. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> laughing. I can't. No. <laughs> I have to get the laughs out. I have to get the laughs out. Hold on. I'm so sorry. Stop. I can't. I'm smiling too much. I can't. Intro to this beautiful game. And, yeah, I want to... I've got... Like, before I start, I've got to say, like, before FIFA, before... Call of Duty, this was the game for me. Like, taught me everything I know about cars. Between this and Top Gear, Formula One, like, Gran Turismo since, like, the early days. But like, I just remember me and my older cousin playing it, like, for hours. It's such a simplistic game, but about car like cars, you know, and learned so many technical things that just gave me that passion for anything with wheels. I mean, they're a very big part of my life. Anything with wheels on it. <laughs> Always as a kid, like, cars was the thing. And maybe you like this game. Maybe you never heard of this game. Maybe you don't like it. Uh, but for me, like, if you love cars, you have to have played this game. Forget Forza. Forget, you know, maybe Need for Speed. But this is the game. Like, the Japanese know how to make a game. I'm telling you. But yeah, this intro is a bit random. Just saw Charlie Chaplin, like, what's that got to do with cars? Jesus. Okay, there's a spaceship, man on the moon. Back to cars. Oh, Monaco. Oh. Chevy. Ah, that is jokes. The maestro Lewis Hamilton, come on. The maestro is Schumacher. Wait for it. Yeah, look. Look at this. Your beauty. Brilliant. So yeah, I've been playing it a fair bit. I've unlocked a few things. And... Let me show you my garage. Do you really want me to go into detail about the game? I'm not. I'm just going to play it and then give you my opinion. So along the way, it always tells you stuff. And yes, it's a crappy car, I know. I know. Got a fair few cars. Oh, it's night time now. So yeah, then you go here and you've got... Let me just explain. You've got the multiplayer bit. Play against people online. The GT Auto bit. You can customise your gear, your car. Maintenance and servicing. If you've played the game before, this is all part of it. What you do. And then... Use cars. Your pre-owned cars. They're probably cheaper, but... I've got, I got my eyes set on that, literally. That's going on my wish list. And I might get a brand new one. Because there's the proper dealership. The official, like, where you can get brand new cars. That like you can go each part of the world. Do whatever you want, you know. I'd just jump into Ferrari, of course. Beautiful. And they got all this. Like, they haven't got every single car ever, but they've got close to a lot. Like, you go in each kind of car, each uh, brand. You've got a fair few road cars, a few more racing cars that some aren't even real. Like, that's not real. Let's go and do a race. So over here you have the world circuit. 
different continents. There's always been only three, as far as I remember. I've done that before. Let's go, where should we go? Let's check Europe. Sardinia. Italy. Done those. I've been to that lake. Lago Maggiore. You know they're the racetrack. They obviously do. Why did I get second in that? I win every race. They got a few UK tracks. Come on, you bastards. Oh my god, I need not I need nitrous for them. They let me in the race with lost. I'm sure they won. I just pushed him. Sorry. Look at that inside me. This feels so real. I feel like you're there. That's the view I go with. Sod the grass. The increasing the weight has just frigged it all up. Now I'm gonna quit this. But I'm so precise with these things that Literally, a minor adjustment will get you to win a race. But I can see where people who don't play this kind of game would be fed up with this, like instantly. Yeah, I used to get angry at times. As a kid, you just want to race. Don't think about the little things, but it's quite a chill game to play, really. It's actually, like, you know, you can actually relax and play the game. A lot of games you can't do that, but yeah. Just love the look of this mini though. See, I'm glad it's not easy. It was easy before it. Big like, well, a lot like life. Okay, let's go, Mini Cooper. Let's keep the speed. The closer I am, nearer the beginning, the better. This is the guy in the lead. Oh my god! I think we're going to do it after the fourth attempt. Literally, you gotta be brave getting past him. You gotta push past. But a mini is a brilliant car. My mum had one of these classic minis when I was a kid. It had no seatbelt in the back. Fun. Fun that was. It wasn't our choice that we had no seatbelt, it was just the times we lived in. See, it was already an old car back then. Oh no. Come on. I'll get in here. See what I mean? I'm getting distracted, guys. Final lap. Final lap. He's 
no one else near us. Needs to overtake him before the final chicane. Touch the brake. Literally touch the brake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, let's go. Let's go. That is awesome. Got this. Yes, bro. Woo. And that is your lot, guys. That's how you win a race. It's never easy, but I did it. So I want to thank you guys and take it easy, and I'll see you real soon. Peace. Now, hold on. So Stop, I can't. I'm smiling too much. I can't. <laughs>